Hi everyone, my name is John and I've had a fair few epiphanies about my identity during my lifetime. So the first 20 years of my life I identified as heterosexual because I was raised in a church environment and there was no other option available to me. And then when I was 22 I met a gay guy and I realised that's what I am, I'm going to identify as gay and I tried that for the next 10 years. <laughs> I was really, really bad at it. I was terrible gay. Um, I just didn't like gay pubs. I didn't like the mirror balls. I didn't like having to shout for a drink over drag queen entertainment. Uh, someone took me on a gay pride parade and I just hated all the whistles being blown in my ears. I really struggled with a lot of it. And then in my 30s, I won a competition in America called International Mr. Leather. I know. Thank you. And uh, part of the prize was taking a year off work and I travelled the world full time for a year to kink events around the world. And I discovered what I actually was, was kinky. I loved it. I really did. A proper deep dive. Um, identified as kinky from that point on to, uh, to the extent that I became a kink educator. I flew around the world up until Covid lockdown, teaching kink workshops all around the world. I even became a stand-up comedian doing jokes about uh, kink so that people could book me by day to teach workshops and in the evening I'd be the kinky entertainment. And then in my 40s, another epiphany, discovered I was autistic, which has given me a real thing to think about. Am I kinky because I'm actually kinky or am I kinky because I'm autistic and it just seems to be a really good fit for my brain? Um, if you go into a kink environment, there does seem to be an abnormally high percentage of people who are neurodivergent. It does seem to be a very attractive place for us. So that's what my next workshop is about. It's called Autism and Kink. It's going to cover a lot of different things. Uh, one of them is going to be what actually is autism and how is it different to other forms of neurodivergence. We're also going to look at the right language to use. <laughs> I know. I know. If you ever want to see a huge row online, try talking about identity language. Uh, just light the blue touch paper and stand well back. That is a way for people to get very heated very quickly. But I will try and give some ground rules to hopefully smooth some of the waters. We're also going to look at what is autistic communication and how is that very similar to kink negotiation. We're going to look at what makes something an autistic friendly environment and also why kink play spaces are naturally autistic friendly. And we're also going to end up the workshop by looking at ways that you can make your kink play and your kink play spaces more inclusive for people who are neurodivergent. I hope you'll come along. The details are going to be underneath this video in the comments, uh, where to get tickets, where it's going to be. Uh, the workshops Autism and Kink, I'm very passionate about it. I hope you'll come along. Thanks. Bye.